So we've all recently been there. You're on a work call and someone in the house decides it's the perfect time to start vacuuming. All the kids are bored or your neighbor decides to start mowing the lawn. Well, the good news is that by default, Zoom automatically enables noise suppression on your calls in an attempt to reduce background noise and focus on your voice. And this automatic noise suppression is applied both in the mobile and the desktop app. However, if the automatic noise suppression isn't enough to drown out the background noise in your home, then you can override these settings and use one of three manual settings, either low, medium or high, which you can access by clicking on the settings icon in the top right corner of your Zoom window and choosing audio from the menu. Next to each setting is an explanation of the level of noise each option will remove, with high said to be able to block out a dog barking in the background. If you decide to go for high, Zoom will need to download an additional audio enhancement. Unfortunately, these additional settings are only available in the desktop version of the app. If you are using the mobile app or Zoom in a browser, you'll have to make do with Zoom's automatic noise suppression technology. In some instances, you may find that noise suppression is actually making it more difficult for others to hear you. If this is the case, you can choose to enable the option to use original sound, which will turn off noise suppression completely. Just be aware that whilst this might make your voice easier to hear, it will also do the same for everything going on around you. Having enabled this option, the next time you are in a meeting, you'll see an additional setting in the top left corner of the window. This will allow you to switch between using original sound and using noise suppression. If you're using the mobile app, you can enable this feature by clicking on the settings icon, choosing meetings, and clicking on the option to enable use original audio. If we then start a meeting and click on more, we now have the option to turn off automatic noise suppression and enable original sound. If you're still not completely satisfied with Zoom's built-in noise suppression features, then it might be worth trying a great little app called Crisp. Crisp can be downloaded for free from crisp.ai and works by, apply by applying noise reduction AI to your default microphone. It works both on Windows and Mac and has a free tier to its pricing structure, which caps out at two hours of audio per week, after which you'll need to pay. What's more, you can use it to remove background noise in Microsoft Teams, Google Meets, and all the other video conferencing apps. To start using Crisp, browse to crisp.ai and click on Get Crisp for free. You'll be asked to provide an email address and you'll receive a verification code. Download the app for either Windows or Mac and install it in the usual way. Once installed, Crisp adds an icon to the system tray in Windows or the menu bar if you're using a Mac. Clicking on Get Started will sign you into your Crisp account. Crisp then automatically applies noise reduction to your computer's microphone. If you have more than one microphone installed on your computer, you can select it from the drop-down menu. You can also enable Crisp on your speakers, which might be useful if you're in a meeting and you want to reduce the background noise being generated by other people on your call. To start using Crisp in Zoom, open up the Zoom app and click on the settings icon in the top right corner of the window. Choose the audio settings and change the default microphone to be Crisp. If you wish, you can do the same for your speakers. When you're in a meeting, you can confirm that you're using Crisp by clicking on the arrow next to the microphone icon. So that is how to remove background noise in Zoom. If like me, you switch between using Zoom and Microsoft Teams, depending on who you're meeting with, then you may be interested to know Teams has similar noise suppression settings. In your Teams meeting, click on the ellipsis icon in the menu and choose device settings. Here, you have the option to switch from automatic to either low or high, or you can disable noise suppression altogether. If you've installed Crisp, you can set the microphone to use Crisp in the same way that we did for Zoom. So there you have it, how to reduce background noise in both Zoom and Microsoft Teams. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll link to below.
No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.